doing my residency, so very busy. I work, you know, up to 80 hours a week sometimes, unfortunately, but I love it. I was having um, some very strange seizures that I didn't even know was a seizure at the time. Um, it's sort of hard to describe, but I would get a very strange feeling and I'd have like this song stuck in my head that I could never really identify and it just made me feel very anxious. all very shell-shocked and my parents were too and that's when um, Dr. Chandler came in and when I first met him. And one of the things I always say to patients is if you're not 100% on board I need to wait until you are because the people who do best are 100% into the fight as is their family. Here's a medical student diagnosed with a, a glioblastoma, the most aggressive tumor, who says, well, I'm just not going to feel sorry for myself. I'm going to try to do research and see if we can find better ways of, you know, fixing these tumors and maybe hopefully fix me too. Boy, I thought I, I mean, I thought I was going to die. I didn't, never thought I would finish medical school. I didn't even think I was going to be able to go back. Here I am. Northwestern. I got married now, too. So I got my degree, second year of residency. So life goes on, you know. It is unusual for me to still be here five years from that. And I attribute that all to my team at Northwestern. You know, if there weren't the treatment that I was able to get for my brain tumor, you know, I wouldn't be here and I wouldn't be able to help these kids with brain tumors moving forward. So it's a very worthwhile pursuit and people, people do do very well um, and they can live long, normal lives. I just couldn't think five years out. Five years ago, I couldn't think of anything, you know, five years from that point. But now I think long term. Ha, ha, ha.